This video will be about the supposed body in a plastic bag in the lower level bathrooms. Okay, now the reason it's easy to, to debunk these crazy videos that are out there is because they aren't true. All right, they're all just sensationalistic to create a narrative to support a nefarious cause of Kanika's death. All right. Um, but before we get into that, I want to point something out. I just made a video a few minutes ago about the supposed, you know, coroners taking cameras and so forth. And a guy named David on YouTube had a great point, and it's irrefutable. Uh, Spock from Star Trek would have loved it. He, he was really into logic. Here, here it is. The item that the younger coroner puts in the body bag when Kanika you know, the table sitting there, um, was prior to Teresa coming into the, ki the um, kitchen. Okay, so who all out there believes that Teresa actually saw a camera above the freezer? If you do believe that, then you cannot believe at all that either of the corners removed the camera because she came in after both of those uh, the incidents where one they put the the item in the body bag and the other one he was carrying around a little small plastic bag with turns out they were uh, gloves but some people still claim that that was a camera that was all prior to Teresa coming into the kitchen okay so if they had removed the camera what did Teresa see above the freezer there wouldn't be one right so you can only believe one of two things that you believe there was a camera there and Teresa didn't see what she saw but the coroners took it anyways or you can believe that the coroners did not take the cameras and Teresa did see one and somebody else took it away later okay that's the, those are the only options okay so thanks David for that absolutely irrefutable logic and if you believe Teresa, you cannot therefore believe that the cameras were stolen by the coroners. Okay, great. Now let's move on to this video here. You have a plastic bag right here. This is in the lower level bathrooms surveillance footage. Um, you know, I couldn't even find it because the person who made the original video that this screenshot is from actually lied and said oh it was only four hours after Kanika went back into the freezer area okay the truth is this is at 1106 p.m. you know so we're talking about um, 12 uh, geez plus I mean almost 20 hours later okay uh, now I put together a sequence of the guy actually moving this bag through the hotel Okay, uh, I don't know where I don't know where this door leads to right here. Let me see where he comes out. Yeah, right there. I don't know where that goes. Okay, but watch this guy. Let's ju just watch it in real time so you can kind of get a feel. Keep in mind, Kanika weighed almost 160 pounds according to the autopsy. So you're talking about you you think you can put a 160 pound person in a uh, heavy-duty garbage bag and just move them around on the ground like it's like they're nothing there's no chance in hell you would have to use two hands the bag would probably break I mean it would be you'd have to be just slowly tugging on the ground that's not how it's going so watch this video sequence here right up here there he is bragging then he goes down the hall not a care in the world that there's people walking around, yet he's got a body in that bag, right? Okay. Then he goes down this area, and then that leads right to... I'm going to play this real time, so he's going down some steps right now. Okay, and then eventually he'll kick over to the other camera that's down the steps. I uh, forgot to make that larger. Let me make that bigger. Right there, so you can see it better. And then he eventually comes down these stairs with that, that bag. Actually, I didn't line that, that timing up. 
that, that was way before I was looking at the wrong. Let's do this better. See, this is how I, I'm going to show you. Since I made that error in time in the timing, I'm going to show you how I do this. So here's this clip here, and I go. So I go 28, and then right when it hits 29, see that up there in the upper right? Right when it hits 29, I cut it. I'll cut it right there, right? Then I'll go to this video, and 29, let's see, 27, 28, 29. So right when that turns to 29, all right? And then I'm going to move this clip over. You can't see what I'm doing below the video, but now you can see the time's all synced up. All right, so here we go. 28, 29, and then he's coming down the stairs with the bag, okay? So do you guys really think that that's a body in that bag when you see it like this? So let's watch that one more time. Okay, he's just walking down the hall with a bag. And I leave it on this shot until about 29 seconds. I could probably slide it over a little bit more and pick up more of the stairs, but there's no reason. 28, 29, then boom. Then down these steps with the same bag, and he's just walking around. There's no way in hell that's a, an actual uh, person. Okay, now I know that person tried to scale it and make it look like that could be Kanika in there, but it's just, it's not true at all, all right? So I hope that you guys start seeing some of this stuff. I mean, if you watch that video that I took the still frame from, it only keeps it on like one frame the whole time. So you can never really get context. See, what I do is I actually put all the footage together in sequence so that you can actually see what is really going on, okay? This right here is not Kanika in a body bag. Or a, even a you know a garbage bag. I mean, how disgusting is that? Hey, let's let's claim that Kanika is in a garbage bag. You know, that's probably the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen. It's embarrassing, and people should just quit this crap. All right. Anyways, uh, a lot of people don't like the way I, I sound sometimes, my attitude, but that's how I feel when I'm making these videos. All right. And I'm sorry that so many of you actually believe the garbage that. The, that are being put out in these videos, and I don't really know why you defend those. You, get, I mean, the number of people that are angry at my videos is incredible. They're so angry at me for putting out factual videos that show the truth in an otherwise edited video. They get so angry at it. Like, oh, you're not here for justice. Yeah, I am here for justice. But are you saying that justice means lying to people to get them to see something that doesn't that isn't real? Is that what you're saying? Because I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sell my soul um, just to be liked by people. Okay? Now, there's a lot of other people out there that are that are there to do that. You, you can go watch their videos. I don't mind if you don't watch mine. All right, so have a good day, and I will talk to you next time.